going to roll the shoulders back and down. So breathing in and out. Just going to move the camera there slightly. So rolling up and back, all the way up and back. That's it. Inhale and exhale. Well done. Switch direction, roll the circles in the opposite direction. Breathing in and out. Well done, everyone. Keep it going. In through your nose and exhaling out. Okay, and four, three, two, one, and then we slide to the side, slide to the side. If you want a deeper stretch, lift your elbow up, slide it down, and reach. That's it. Inhale, center, exhale, reach. Well done. Four more. And three. Keep going. Two more. And last one. Very good. I'm just going to hit mute there again. Okay. And back into the center. And then we're going to bring the legs out much wider. And this time we turn the toes out to the side. We slide down and reach that hand over. Inhale. Exhale. Reach over. Breathing out. Well done. Inhale. Now really focus on the stretch. All the way to your thighs, waist, ribs. Well done. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Hold. Hold it here. Little pulses. Pulse it out. Four. Three. Two. One, over to the other side, pulse, four, three, two, one, and bring it back, well done. Now stay where you are, we're going to bring the hands up, palms together, down, palms down into the thighs. So reaching up as you inhale, exhale, push and press. So breathing in, breathing out, well done. Inhale, exhale, now really push the arms down strong. Standing up nice and tall, exhale, breathing in, and exhale. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Let's hold the shoulder height, little pulses, pulse it out. Now, keep the upper body nice and tall, pull the belly button in, breathing in, and out. Three, two, one. Now change, palms facing forward, inhale, exhale out. Now keep going. I'm just going to change the position here so you can either bring them here or push them all the way back. If you want to work hard, you squeeze them back. Okay? So exhale. No. Slow it down. Squeeze. Pause. We're in your midst. Well done. All the way back. Chin up now. Open up your chest. Pull the belly button in every time you exhale, start to engage that core. Well done. Four more. Great stuff. Three. Two more. And last one. Hold it back here. Little pulses. Pulse it out. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it here. Hands down. Little pulses down. Chin up now. Open up your chest. Four. Three. Two, one, and let's drop those arms. Roll the shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Now hold them here. I want you to lift and press. So really exaggerating the lift. Push away. Breathing in. Three, two, last one. Press down. Okay. Elbows up. Now reach back. We're going to go side to side again, but this time we're going to hold and do four on each side. Four, three, two, one. Over to the other side. Reach. Four, three, two, one. Reach it across. Four, three, two, one. Last time. Now, we're going to slide.
slide down so we're going to just press the hands down now if you can touch the ground easily with your fingertips i want you to reach down and aim the palms now don't worry about getting all of your hand on the mat just go as low as you can and then i want you to pulse 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 okay so just remember the wider the legs are with this one the easier it is okay so obviously you're closer to the ground so if you want to make it more challenging you just bring the legs in a little bit closer toes are still turned out to the side still pulling the belly button in and we're pulsing and four three two one hold now straighten the legs but try not to lock out the knees i want you to walk your hands over to one side now if you can't touch the mat start at your knees and slide down okay hold there and then roll over to the other side again hold now don't forget if you can't reach your toes that's perfectly fine hold them on your ankles just once you're getting a deep stretch back over to the first side all the way over reach down okay so you touch the mat touch the back last one all the way over to the other side and reach slow deep breath and then walk it back to the center. Now bring one hand to the front of each shin. We're still stretched down as low as we can go, so we're getting a really good stretch in the calves, the hamstrings, the glutes, low back. And then we're going to walk up, but we're going to walk an inch at a time. So we're walking up really slowly, rebuilding the spine, chin tucked into your chest. Oh, that's now a bit lightheaded now when you stand up, so just take a second. Just roll the shoulders. Well done. We're going to lift one shoulder, press down. Lift and press. So side to side. Well done. Press. Press. Four more. Last one, press, okay. Bring the feet, walk the feet back in. Now grab your weights if you have them handy. You don't have to use weights for this one. The weight of your arms is plenty. So we're kicking the feet, hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. We're going to use the weights. We're going to inhale and exhale, push back. So toes pointing forward, we're going to roll up, roll back. Now the upper body is tall the whole time. Press, breathing in, and press, lift, and press, okay, keep it going, so roll up, and press, now try and hold at the top, even if it's for a second before you press, now when you're pushing the arms back, don't be tempted now to roll the upper body forward, keep it nice and tall. If you want to work that a little bit harder, we're going to push the arms back just that little bit more. So breathing in. And again, keep going. If you want to make it more challenging, the closer your feet are together, the more difficult it is. So if you want to make it easier, your feet come up much wider. Keep going. Okay, rolling up. And slow it down. Breathe in. Press back. Well done. Breathe in. Press back. Breathe in. Keep it going. Four. Three. Two. Well done. Last one. We're holding here. We're going to bring the arms out. Now hands facing down. Shoulder width apart. Press back. So palms are facing down. Four more. Try and find that point of stability now on the ball of your foot. Lift the heels. Two more. Last one. Bring them back in. Now we're changing them. Palms facing forward. We're going to bring one arm back. Squeeze behind. Inhale. Now, if it's too much with the heels up, you can drop them down. Just do the arms, okay? 
All right, but if you want to work a little harder, just lift the heels, squeeze the glutes, engage the core every time you squeeze the arms back. Keep them at shoulder height if you can. But if you can't, it's okay, drop it down here. Okay, bring them here, bend to the belly button, push it back. Okay, so we're going to squeeze back, four more. Well done, and three. Bring it in, two more. The last one. Bring the hands down, drop the heels, well done, roll the shoulders. Okay, we're changing the position of our feet, keeping them close enough, hip distance maybe a little bit closer. But we're turning the toes, think of Charlie Chaplin now, toes out to the side. We're keeping that lovely tall posture, okay? We're going to go side to side, lift the elbows, so we do 4C, okay. <coughs> lift, lift, two more, back into the centre, now we're going to lift the heel, lower, lift and lower, two more, lift, lower, last one, lift, Lower. Now we're going to bring the arms into that. So what we're going to do is lift both arms, drop them down. So this is your beginner version. Lift and lower. If you want a more advanced version, lift them up shoulder height, lower down. So lift and lower. Okay. So lifting the feet. So we're lifting up on the heel and lower. Now don't forget lift and lower. If you're a beginner, more advanced, lift and lower. Now, keep going. The key here is slow, as slow as you possibly can. Roll the shoulders back, chest out, pull the belly button in, breathing in. Okay, exhale, breathing in. Now, shoulder height, maybe an inch or two higher, but try not to bring them up here, okay? It's slow and controlled, so we're lifting and lowering as slowly as you bring it up, okay? Lift and lower, well done, breathing in. And lower, keep going, four more. And lower, three. Two, well done. Last one. And lower. Now, we're going to change the arms. We're going to do a hammer curl. So a hammer curl is elbow tucked in and then tip the weight off your shoulder and then extend the arm out straight to get the tricep. So we're getting the bicep here, tricep here. Okay? So it's lift, lower. Perfect. Now, bring the feet out a little bit wider, maybe twice as wide. Again, toes pointed out to the side. Pull the belly button in, stand up tall. Okay, so we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, getting a good calf raise, lift and lower. Now keep going. For anyone who wants to work a little harder, come down into a little squat, lift and lower, okay, lift and lower. So you should feel a little bit off balance, so pull the belly button in, breathe in. Okay, keep going. Well done. Or you can hold it here. Okay, if you want to work harder, harder get down into that squat and lower. Four more. And three. Well done. Two. Last one. And lower. Now push up all the way up. And roll the shoulders back. Open up the chest. We're bringing the hands together here. So if you're using your weights, you're pressing the knuckles together, squeezing back. Now you're bringing the arms all the way back behind if you can. Okay? Squeeze the shoulder blades. Bring it back in. Okay? We're changing position for our feet. So we're coming back in nice and close again. Okay? We're holding up if you can, and we're squatting straight, 
Okay? Now, anyone with knee issues, forget about that. Hold it here. I'm just going to lift and lower. Okay? Anyone with knee or ankle problems, stay here. Everyone else, lift. We're going to squat and squeeze. Okay? Squat down. Squeeze. Breathing in. Okay, breathing in, breathing out. Well done. Inhale, keep the heels up. That's not for you. Lift and lower. Okay? Lift and lower. Well done, everyone. Looking good. Squeeze, breathing in. And four. Three. Well done, nearly there. Two. Bring it back up. Drop the hands. Move the feet back in front. We're just going to pedal the feet up and down for a second. Well done. So take a seat on the mat. Now grab your pillow or your cushion or whatever you're going to use. If you have a nice thick mat, you might need it. Just in case. Okay. So we did this. Did we have a chair of But if you weren't here, what we're doing is bringing the feet hip distance apart. So our heels are in line with our knees. Knee on your cushion or your pillow. Okay. Now drop the weight for a second till I show you what we're going to do. We're going to come up nice and tall. Lift, pop the hips. So we're popping the hips forward, pressing the arms back. Okay, breathing in. So we're popping the hips forward. Okay, now that's our beginner version. So we're going to lift, we're breathing in, straighten up nice and tall, chin up. Okay, breathing in. Breathing in. Now, keep going. If you want a little bit more, don't sit back on your heels. Never fully rest, pop up. Keep the arms up. Never fully rest, pop up. Okay? Breathing in. That's it. Inhale. Keep going. If that's not for you, you can stay on your knee. Lift, press back. Lift, press back. Okay? So push the arms behind, but sit up nice and tall. Try not to anchor forward like that. I want you to sit up tall, push the arms back. Breathing in. Keep popping the hips forward now. Pop the hips, that's it, four. Well done, three. Good job, two. Last one. Hold, hold it here. We're going to switch the arms, reach. Now, I almost want you to be leaning back with the upper body. So you feel a stretch in the front of your thighs. Well done, everyone. Reach. Good job. Keep it going. Reach. Reach. Well done. Four. Three. Great stuff. Two. Last one. Bring it down and then sit back into your heels. Well done. Okay. So for the next one, we're going to do the mermaid, but we're either do two versions. We're either going to stay in the mermaid or we're going to move in the mermaid. So I'll show you what I mean. So our mermaid is here. Okay. Heel tucked in, other leg out to the side. Now, you can either stay here and we go side to side. Okay. So that's your first version. For anyone else who wants a more challenging version, now I would say you can pop the cushion or the pillow under your knees. It just makes it a little bit more comfortable. Anyone else? What we're going to do is bring the arms out in front and then pull them into our waist. 
So reach and pull. Okay, so we're lifting up onto our knees. I'll change to the side now so you can see. So reach the hands in front, pull. Okay, so from the side, we're still in our mermaid. We're going to reach, pull them back in. So we're pulling back behind, reach out in front, pull. Okay, now if that's not for you, anyone with knee or ankle issues, that may not be for you. Keep the weights in your hands and just go side to side. Okay, side to side. So very gently, side to side. Reach, that's it, and reach. Okay, but if you are doing it, keep going, keep going, keep doing as much as you can. Bring it in, pull. Inhale. So you're tucking the elbows, pulling the arms back, getting into the biceps again and triceps. Using your weights now, we're getting the chest, neck and shoulders. And four. Three. Two. Last one, everyone. Lift. Lower. Well done. Okay, move the legs over to the other side. So again, we can repeat what we just did or try the other version this time, okay, whichever one it is. So reaching side to side, use your weight, okay, keeping up nice and tall. If you want a more advanced version, bring the hands out in front, pop up in the knee, pull the elbows back, breathing in. Chin up doesn't fall. Four. 
three, two, one. Now hold. Bring the hands halfway. Let's draw circles with our elbows. Keep going. What we're looking for is drawing a circle here. Nice wide circle. Either direction is fine. We're switching in three. Two, one. Well done. Switch direction. Keep the breathing and don't hold your breath. That's it. Four, three. Well done. Two, one. Hold it here. Now back to our extend. So we tuck, extend. Tuck. Now slow down. Okay, we're going to give the count of three. Two, one, one, two, three. Okay, so really slow down. Exhale the whole way out. Inhale all the way out. That's it. Sit up nice and tall. Chin up looking forward. Well done, everyone. Looking great. Keep it going. Four more. Well done. Three. Two more. Last one. Hold it. A little pulses, pulses. Chin up, chin up. That's it. Four, three, two, one, and drop it down. Well done. Roll the shoulders. Great stuff. Okay. Exhale. So we're exhaling the arms out straight. And then we're going into little circles. Now, the movement from here, from your shoulders. So not the wrist or the elbow. It's the whole way. Hands facing down. Sit up nice and tall. Breathing in. Well done. Chin up looking forward. Four. Three. Two. One. Circle in the opposite direction. Four. Three. Two. One and drop it down. Well done. Okay. Give the hands a shake. Just a little roll with your shoulders. We're going to move on, roll them back, roll them forward, all the way up and press down. Three more. Two. Well done. Last one. Okay. Leave your weights handy in case you decide to use them. If you have your ball, grab it. You can also leave your pillow or a cushion wherever you're handy. We're going to do some sideline legs. We're going to bring the ball between the feet and then lie flat on the mat. Now, if you want to make it a little easier, you can bring your feet a little bit forward so you almost make like a little bit lesser of a straight line. So you're at an angle when your legs are forward, flexing your feet. If you want to make it more challenging, stay in a nice straight line and then stack heel, hip shoulders up and past each other. And then we're going to exhale, breathing in. Okay? Now, if you don't have a ball, it's fine. Press the feet together and lift. Press, lift. The ball just adds that little bit of tension so that we get more muscle groups working on the inner and outer thighs, even into the hips, okay? Now, slow and controlled. So don't fling and drop. I want you to lift, pause, Lower. Well done. Now, you can lift your hands, bring it straight up to the ceiling, or if you want that little bit more, grab your weight, hold it up, lift, and lower. If you want a little bit extra, you're going to tap the shoulder, extend. Now, when you're doing that, keep the elbow pointed straight to the ceiling. So we're going to drop it down here, bring it up, okay, getting the tricep here, the back of the arm, well done, and four, three, two, this is great for the weights as well, last one, hold it here, now keep the arm here, we're going to kick the heels into the bum, and extend. We're trying to keep the lower leg up off the mat. Try to just be resting on your hip. If you find that a little bit uncomfortable, you can pack the pillow or a cushion under your hip. 
We have these little bit of in front. Let's make it more challenging, get into a straight line. Well done. Again, we can touch, lift. Elbow pointing to the ceiling, lift. Touch, well done. Great stuff, keep it going. Four, and three. Well done everyone, two. Last one, hold it here. Now, we're going to kick back and extend. Keep the feet flexed, toes point towards your shins. Okay, so it's inhale, kick all the way back, exhale, straighten the leg. Breathing in, keep that lower leg up off the ground. Okay, four, three, two, last one. Okay, back here to lift and lower. So lift and lower. Well done. Keep going, you should be feeling it in the waist and the hips. Now we can bring the arm in. Lift and lower. Well done, keep it going. Done, everyone. Keep it going. Lift. That's it. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay. Kick it in behind and extend. That's it. Inhale. Slow it down, stretch, inhale, that's it, keep it going, six more, five, well done, feeling it everywhere now from the rib cage down, we're using the weight to get in the upper body as well, core is engaged to keep balance, last one, lower, okay. So one last set of each. We're going to do 10 reps of each one. We're nearly there. Straighten that arm, straight up. Now squeeze the feet together, flex the toes, lift. Well done. Seven more. Six. Five, keep it going. Four, we've only three left. Well done, last one, lift, hold it here, kick it in behind, extend, well done, nine more. Seven, six, keep going, five, four, three, well done, two, Last one, lift and lift. Lower it down, well done. Roll over onto your tummy, let's do a double heel kick this time. So we're still gluing the legs together. Again, pointing the toes and a kick, kick, down. Okay, kick, kick, down. And point the toes. And four more. And three. And two. Last one. Kick, kick, lower. Now separate the feet. Let's bring the hands next to your chest. Tuck the elbows in. If you want to make it easier, bring them up here by your ears or somewhere in between. Separate the feet, point the toes and push. So now I want you to slowly lower. Lower down slowly, breathing in. Now I want you to push up as slowly. Try not to push up in one movement. So we'll say lift your chin, lift your chest, lift your ribs, lift your chin up now looking forward. So breathing in and out. 
the spray rig and my flowing movement hips down into the ground, breathing in. Push up strong and get your arm as straight as you can, as much as is possible to you, breathing in. And two. Nice work in the neck, chest, shoulders, into the arms again. We'll do one more and then we're sitting back into a child's pose. And then we're going to sit back. Crease the hands all the way back. And we're going to tuck the elbows into the knees, palms down into the ground. And just rest, relax into it. Slow, deep breath. Okay. So when we're ready now, we're going to do feet around. And again, anybody with any problems with the knees, you can pop a pillow or a cushion under your knees, make it a little bit more comfortable. We're going to roll up into all fours, come into the middle of the mat. Okay. So our knees, hip distance apart, or a little bit wider, whatever is comfortable. Hands directly under your shoulders. Spread the fingers and then we're going to pull the belly button in. Okay, so we're going to start with the legs. So we're going to extend and bring it back where we found it. Extend the opposite leg. Bring it back. So this is finding our way. Do we need to move our hands a little bit forward? Do we need to move them out to the side? Just feel your point of balance there. So stretch, bring it back in. When you're bringing the knees down, Bring them back, hip distance apart. Now try and extend that leg the whole way out. Breathing in. Push up strong out of the arms. Try not to fall forward now. Equal weight, front and back of the body. Breathing in. Four more. Three, well done. Extend, point the toe. Two more. Getting a lot of work in the core, getting all of our body working, but the core is working really hard. Now, bring the knees a little bit wider. This time we're going to have opposite hand, opposite leg. Breathing in. Stretching and reaching those limbs away from the body. So straight out in front, straight out in front. So try not to have the out here to the side. Straight out in front. And four. Three. Two. Last one. And bring it back. Now, feet are still hip distance apart. Now, if you want more of a challenge here, you can grab the ball and bring it behind one of your knees and just lock it into place. Now this leg, we're going to lift, tap the knee, tap and lift. Now, when we're doing that, I don't want you to lean to one side. The urge will be to lean to the other side. I want you to have equal weight on both hands. Keep the knees apart, hip distance. Tap, lift. Tap. Lift. Now try and bring your knee as high as your head. Heel up to the ceiling. Well done. Now don't collapse into your arms. Great. And push up strong. Well done. Great stuff. Four. Three. Good job everyone. Two. Great for the glutes. Great for the low back as well. Hold. Over to the other side. So grab the ball and switch. Now, find that point where you're happy, okay? Hands, shoulder width apart, nice and strong. Knees, hip distance apart. Tap and lift. Again, try not to lean into the other side. Okay? Knees, hip height. Well done. Tap and lift. Keep it going. Great stuff. Three, two, one, 
and tap no. The next one, the ball is optional, completely up to you. I'm going to use it as, a, as that little extra for the ball. Okay, no. Knees together, push them back a little bit. So instead of them being in here, I want them back so that I'm really feeding the core. And then run it out to the side, so tap the knees, exhale, lift it out. Tap. Well done. No. Try not to let your head droop. Lift your head up. Look at the space between your hands. Lift. Well done. That's it. And four. Three. Two. Last one. And tap. Okay. Over to the other side. So that's great for working the hips. Okay, and the side of the glutes, getting the core by having our balance here, we're getting the abs, so knees together, breathing in, exhale out. Make sure you switch legs, breathing in, tap the knees, exhale out, tap. Keep slow down now, slow, lift, low, lift, low. And four. Well done. Three. Two. Last one. Lower. Okay. Grab that ball, bring it out to the side. We're going to bring the knees back, hip distance apart. Let's do cat cow, just to give a stretch to our back. So we're going to drop the middle of the back and extend as we exhale. So inhale. Now just remember, arms and legs nice and straight. Our hips aren't moving backwards and forwards. We're anchoring into the ground and just dropping the spine, lifting the spine. Okay, so inhale. Breathing in. One more. back into neutral. Okay, so just to finish, we're going to do a plank, but it's just going to be a very quick plank. I know we're out of time now, but we're just going to finish strong plank, okay? Everyone's absolute favourite. We're going to come up to the top of the mat, and we're going to bring the hands directly under the shoulders, knees hip distance apart, take a deep breath. We're just going to do 30 seconds, okay? So breathing in. Take a deep breath, and we're going to exhale back, exhale back. Now drop the hips. Now we don't want them down here, and that's not a plank either. So nice straight line, straight line from the back of your head to your heels. And just focus on your breath. Okay, breathing, slow. Pull the belly button in, well done. Keep it going, inhale. Slow and steady, four. Three, two, we're nearly there. Last one. Drop one knee, drop the other back into your child's pose. Sit back into your heels, take a nice breather. We're done. Okay, when you're ready, just sit down whatever way you're comfortable. Just going to roll the shoulders, give the hand a little bit of shake. We do a lot of work in our arms now. Roll the shoulders. And forward. So bring them up and press down. Bring them up. Okay, one more. Reach one arm across. Great arm. Bring the other hand just above your elbow, but keep the arm straight. So try not to bend it at the elbow. Extend it out. Turn your head. Slow deep breath. Breathing in. Okay, come back to the center. Give both hands a little shake. Reach 
was wearing a cuff, and the palms of him just above your elbow, turning the opposite direction. Keep that arm nice and straight, try not to bend it off the elbow. And just focus on slowing your breath. And on one more inhale, exhale, center. Bring the hands down, give them a little shake. Well done. So let's reach to the side, bring that arm across our head, nice spine stretch. Slow deep breath and you exhale, you reach to the other side. Let it run back into the center. And then with the feet crossed, I just want you to focus on just leaning forward. So tuck your chin. Try and have a little space between your legs so that your ankles aren't pressing on each other. You can push into your knees with your palms of your hands or your elbows, or you can reach the palms of your hands straight out in front. And just slow down. Different things tonight. Thanks very much, Ellie. Thanks a million. Bye. How are you, Siobhan?